Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to create an API call within Unity 3D Engine and the purpose of this is that we can hit this refresh button we'll uh, make an API call and we'll be able to display some text here to replace hello world then every time we refresh we'll get different text so the API we're going to use for this is called uh, catfact and the link to this is down in the description below and if we do catfact forward slash catfact dot ninja forward slash fact you get a random fact about cats <laughs> so we'll be using this then to display within our project and then we're going to use this uh, json to c sharp converter as well to turn our json into a c sharp object so we can access the data more easily and manipulate it as we please within our application so let's just go ahead and get started with our uh, script so I created a new script called API call and in here it just is a generic script but we're going to remove the update function and then we're just going to add some dependencies up here so we're going to do using utensoft.json and using tm pro and then lastly using unity engine dot networking and that's all we need so down here we're going to create our function that's going to create the that's going to do the api call so it's going to be an i enumerator and we're going to call it a get request and we'll pass in a string and i'm just going to call it uri then from here we're going to do using a Unity web request web request equals Unity web request dot get and pass in the URI. So once we do that, we're going to do a yield and return web requests dot send request. So this will wait for our web request to send and then after our web request is finished uh, has responded we can do a switch on the web request dot result and then here we can do some error handling so we'll do case unity web request dot result dot connection error and then we'll do a, a data protocol or data processing here and we can just do debug.log error and say something went wrong and we just string that format something went wrong and then here we can do our web request.air <coughs> and then from here we will just break so that does our error handling so basically what this switch statement says right now is if we have a connection error or a data processing error we're going to basically log an error and it will show up in the console um, but then lastly we'll just do a case for unity uh, web request dot Result dot success, and then in here we're going to basically say what happens. Oops. There we go. So in here, then we can actually handle what to do with the text or with the response. So if we head back over to our tab here that has the actual fact and the JSON structure, if we copy this paste it into JSON to C sharp it will create us a C sharp object and this represents the JSON data that will get returned so we're going to add this into our project and just rename the class from root to fact just for e easy to read 
And now when, what we can do is we can basically turn our JSON into this object and then access the fact or the length um, every time. Uh, and you can use this for manipulating or you can use it in the list and get loads of them or build up a list of objects and just an easy way of accessing. So from here we'll do fact fact equals uh, json convert dot deserialize object fact and then we will pass in our web request dot uh, download handler dot text so with this json convert deserializing it this is how we transfer um what essentially would be this text and then we convert it into this object because it, it's mapped correctly and um, as you can see it has the, the field properties there's fact fact length length so it maps them correctly and then we can just access them properties by doing fact uh, dot fact or fact dot length and um, but we're going to use this to display on our actual screen so we need a public uh, public text mesh uh, pro pro u u g y text and then down here we do text dot text equals fact dot fact and now every time we call this this will update our uh, text in the canvas to display the result so let's give that a try we'll come back out here I'm gonna put the script on our main camera so here's our script you can see we're looking for some text so I'm gonna grab the text mesh pro from over here and we need to do one last thing in the script we actually need to start quarantine get request and then we need to pass in the URL so let's go back here uh, catfact.ninja forward slash fact is what we're putting here and now on startup we should change hello world to actual fact there we go so we try that again to get a different fact there we go and then our refresh button is not going to work just yet because we didn't set that up so to get a refresh button to work, we're going to do a public void on refresh. And we can just call, make sure we just call start instead of duplicating code. So once we do on refresh, we'll call start. This will start a quarantine and uh, get us a new result. So we need to go to our button. Uh, add an on click event and reference an object so we're going to drag our camera into here and now we can access our API call class and then our on refresh so now when we click that button it should refresh the result that we see so here we have one result and now we are getting loads of different results from the API and that is how we can create API requests within Unity. And I hope this video helped. And um, if you need anything at all, just put a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Take care.